Hey, what's up guys? It's Graphic Phoenix back with another video today and today we are setting up this beautiful Reptile Edge 12x12x18 tank for the newest edition. I hope you guys can learn something about a Juvi Lichianus Gecko cage setup. So as you can see in front of you, I have the supplies that I'm going to be using. I also have a substrate off to the side. You guys can see that right here. This is coconut core and coconut husk mixed together. It's probably like 70% coconut core, 30% coconut husk. We're here to learn about Lichianus geckos. Lichies, as you know, are large geckos. They get huge. With that big size means they like to eat. They also like to drink. Now, my belief, that wet spot's going to be under there this whole time. My belief is that they need more water than simply misting would do. For someone like a Cresty, it's not that large. It doesn't have all that high water demand. But for a Lichiana Gecko, they're much larger and need more water to hydrate themselves. With that being said, I'm using one of my Reptile Edge dual tray cartridges. These have uh, the two large solo cups in them. So I'll be using one for water and then once I use the two large ones that come in here, I'll be using the one and a half ounce containers which are just slightly shorter. But that's what I'm going to be using for his food and his water. It will be low-ish to the ground, it's not going to be super high but uh, it will have something leading to it so he can stand on it. Now general care is very similar to Cresties. They have very similar temperatures, like room temperature, maybe a little bit higher. They like to be misted a couple times a day uh, just to keep the humidity up and you don't want it to be soaking wet in there all the time because I have heard of problems with like fungus and stuff growing in their little skin folds, but hopefully we'll not have that issue today. So enough blabbering about them, you guys generally know how to care for a Cresta Gecko and these guys are very similar. With that being said, we can get started building this cage. Well, the cage is already built and believe me, that was a nightmare. For no reason more than I didn't have instructions, I it, it just took some time. Even though this isn't his full-time cage, I think I might add springtails and isopods in there just to, I don't know, keep things going. Now this is the substrate going in right now. I'll probably do about an inch and a half, maybe maybe two inches all over here. And I'm putting this stuff in first so I can then place the branches and be able to anchor them. Now there's no drainage layer going in here because it is a temporary cage. I just don't feel the need to add drainage. Maybe I'll regret that in the future. As of right now, that's what we're going with. Like I said, this is a about a 70-30 mixture of coconut core to coconut husk. For those of you wondering, this is basically just to help retain some humidity and keep things going smoothly in there. There was a time when you had me fall into the ground. My only live plant that's going to go in here, because I know these guys can shred plants real quick, is a pothos. It's a very robust vine. The lighting, I'm not going to have any lighting over top of it for at least the first little while. I might get a small like 2.0 UV bulb or something to put up there, but right now there's not going to be any light and pothos grows fine with no, I guess, real strong light. So I'm not going to worry. Too much. I'm basically just going to set it in here and forget about it. In the dark we fight, you take the wrong and you make it right. Tomorrow, while I'm at work, I'll find another big piece for the back corner there for him to be his kind of hidey hole. Uh, right now, I'm very concerned with him just being able to get onto there. And because they're so large bodied, I do have these large bodied branches. So if he was just kind of hanging off one of these and eating, I don't know, he might not feel too secure. And I want him to be happy and healthy. All right, so I'm gonna move this cage. This is what I have for right now. I'm gonna look at work for more cork bark and 
some other various things that might grow in here. So I'm gonna get this put into place where it is in its final resting spot. All right, you guys, and here it is. You can see the tank there. You can see little monkey here. And you'll see what happens this first time I hold him. Whether he chomps down on me or he just goes nicely into his cage. As for his cage, you can actually see right here, I added another cutting of Pothos. I also, as you can see up there, added a light. It looks like he's rearing to go. I'm, is it weird of me to be like a little bit nervous right now? <laughs> I don't know why, I just am. I just don't want him to be a raging douchebag. Because I've heard some leeches can be a little bit of a dickheads. Dude, are you going to be a little bit of a dickhead, or are you going to be good? Come here. Come here. Hello. Hello. Say hi to the camera. There you go. Look at him. He looks so sweet. I was told this is a confirmed male. Whoop. Right there. There's a new, new residence. Finally, I get out of that damn box, stuff me in a box, ship me across the country, and I'm here. Out of from the bottom, now we're here. Whoa! <laughs> now, for those of you that have never really had a reptile before and you happen to be watching this, what you want to do when you get a new animal is basically leave them, let them settle in. This is all new to him. He's never been here, so I'm going to fill up his water bowl, his food dish, and leave him alone. I'll miss him twice a day. Other than that, he's on his own. Uh, I don't want him to get too stressed. I need him to eat. I need him to do well. And in fact, I'm probably going to turn off his light for the first couple days just to let him settle in a little bit. He will be getting some ambient light from the frog tank next to him. So that's that's all he really needs. So I guess I should give you guys the chance to leave your name suggestions down below. I feel like I'm kind of obligated to name him something after Halloween. Uh, Jeffrey, I believe his name for him was Mr. Skellington. So even though Jeffrey is using that name, uh, I'm not going to use it. So please leave your comments in the comment section down below of what you think I should name this guy. Uh, if you want to leave two name suggestions, leave one Halloween-y and one non-Halloween-y. I guess, like one normal name. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this fairly long video, and I hope he does well. He's a new army crossed with a new Anna. If you guys liked the video, drop a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns on how to set up a Lichianus Gecko setup, leave them in the comment section down below. If you want to subscribe to my channel, there will be a little circle on the screen you can click now, and just under it there will be a link to my last video and you guys can go check that out. <laughs> I don't think he's got this whole walking on acrylic thing yet. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Graphic Phoenix, out of here.